What's good, y'all? The AP poll for college football dropped on Sunday. I'm reacting to it. It's the top 25, man. We're going to go through uh, 1 through 10 real quick. So, obviously, you got 1, Texas, 2, Georgia, 3, Ohio State, 4, Alabama, 5, Ole Miss, 6, Tennessee, 7, Missouri, 8, Miami, 9, Oregon, 10, Penn State. So, <clears throat> I do agree with Texas being the number one team, especially after uh, their big victory. I know they play UTSA. I know Quinn Ewers went down. Archman stepped in, had a pretty big game. But with Georgia struggling against Kentucky, um, I definitely agree with them being number one. Now, I don't know what it is with Georgia, but whenever they play Kentucky, it's always a tough game for them. Like, whether that's in the first half, second half, like, they always just struggle with that team and, and pulling away late. Um, but they were able to get a stop late, uh, nice defensive pressure, and was able to come out on top. But a really tough game offensively. Shout out to their defense uh, for keeping it low. But it was able to win an ugly game. Games like that really, really help mold your team, I think. And I uh, hope you get to where you want to go. You don't want all the games that you blow out to not be tested. So to get tested that early for Georgia was was definitely good. And they, they, did, they did a good job, uh, ABC, of picking this game and putting it on um, prompt time. All right, next, Ohio State. They look like one of the, the forerunners, uh, like one of the best teams. So that one should be good. Uh, I like the man number three, Jeremiah Smith's been doing his thing. Alabama had a big one against Wisconsin. Jalen Milrow, Ryan Williams, a true freshman standout. He's been doing his thing. Ole Miss. Uh, with Jackson Dart, they've been balling out. Tennessee as well. Um, but I want to shout out Missouri. Missouri really had a, a good win against uh, Boston College. It was not easy, uh, but they was able to come out on top. Man, Missouri looked like they could potentially challenge this year and be one of kind of those sleeper teams um, in the SEC and be able to make some noise. So don't be surprised if they knock off one of these big teams, a Tennessee, a Ole Miss, a, uh, potentially Bama, any of those teams in order to try to get in the college football playoff. Don't be surprised. And not Oregon. Oregon finally looked like Oregon. I had Oregon State coming on top, but they pretty much won that, blew them out, which is what you want to see. After two weeks of struggling against minor teams, finally getting the blowout victory. All right, next you got, obviously, USC, Utah, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. Um, you know, USC got a big one coming up this week. I'll talk about it later in the week when they play Michigan. That should be a really good game. Uh, Michigan's going to have a new starting quarterback as well, Alex Ujiri. So, um, that's going to be interesting from them to kind of see how they come out. They've already lost to Texas. Another big game for them, 3.30 on uh, CBS. So I want to see how they respond to playing in that kind of environment. should be an epic matchup. Then you got Utah, like I said, Kansas State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. And then you got LSU. Um, LSU, I want to I get them a shout-out for that resolve. Garrett Nussmeyer, man, I'm telling you, he looks like the real deal. I know they have a loss already to USC, but to be able to go in that kind of environment, when South Carolina had all the momentum, they're running the ball. The North Sellers is looking good. Um, they have your back is up against the wall, and you able to keep fighting in that game, keep battling, able to come out with a win. I think it says a lot with how good this LSU team can potentially be, and they are actually one of my sleepers. I think they still can make some noise and kind of catapult themselves into the college football playoff conversation. I really do, um, and I think that the loss from USC is going to make them better. And that was a hard, far win. So shout to them for coming out on top. Uh, Notre Dame, they handled, obviously, Purdue. No surprise there. They did their thing. Michigan got the big contest coming up. I want to see how they respond, especially with a new quarterback at the helm. Then you have Louisville. Louisville has a big game coming up. I'll do a prediction on that one um, a little bit later in the week as well. They're going to play Georgia Tech. That should be a really good one. 330 kick, either on ESPN or ESPN2. That's going to be some must-watch TV right there. Then you got Iowa State. Clemson, they come back out. They're going to play NC State. That should be a really good game. Uh, you know, Clemson looked really good, I think, Clay Klubnik had six or seven touchdowns and they went against App State. Now you're going to play an ACC opponent. How do you respond? And, you know, kind of we want to see it against a, a marquee opponent. So we'll find out. They are slated in uh, kind of a favorite to win uh, the ACC this year as well. And then obviously you have Nebraska. Uh, they look good under with uh, Dylan Rayota. Uh, some, some people call him Baby Mahomes. And then obviously got Northern Illinois. Illinois and Texas A&M. Texas A&M, um, I, I still put the jury out on them. I, I don't know yet. Um, I want to see them play a viable opponent. I know they played Notre Dame, came up a little bit short. Uh, Florida's had their struggles, especially at the quarterback position. They've not looked good in the first couple of weeks of the season. Um, but I want to see them play one of these top SEC schools before I kind of put um, where I kind of have them because they've looked shaky. I'm not going to lie to you. And obviously the quarterback got hurt. It was not in the game. Um, but I want to see kind of how they kind of come out on top uh, against a prominent opponent. But it's the AP poll. That's my reaction, man. It should be. It's a great week of college football yet again. And can't wait to see how these, these teams respond, especially after some were very were tested. I feel like all these teams, for the most part, have been. I don't feel like Texas has yet. Georgia got tested. Bama got tested by USF. Uh, Missouri got tested um, by 
uh, Boston College. And you had USC get tested by LSU. LSU, same thing. And they got tested against South Carolina. So I want to see some more tests and how these teams respond. But it's been a great couple of weeks so far. Can't believe we're already at week four. Should be interesting to see how it comes out on top.